back again. Big Rob back. Tell a friend. Ha <laughs> ha! Turn this gangster rock shit off. What the hell was that all about? What's happening with people? Another nice Cuban stogie. Now this is just a little bit of a coincidence. I told you I don't smoke these very often. I was up at me uh, microbrewery the other day. I keep that place running. I'm up there too much. And they, 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 some of them watch my videos, so that's kind of cool. I, I guess they get good shits and giggles out of it. Because they're professional brewers, and I got my little podunk shawm bitch machine here, and uh, I get a little crazy. Um, anyhow, they saw that cigar, and they, they had a few that somebody dropped off. I asked Big Rob if he'd like some. So I got two of these bad boys, so I lit this one first, though, because some of you shawm bitches making fun of me. Get that thing lit, man. Get that thing lit. It was painful watching you get that thing lit. She's lit. Shut the hell up. Brew day. Got myself a uh, Shambas drink here too. This is a, um, from the same microbrewery. My boys up at Foghorn, this is a gold nail. Love it. My favorite up there for sure. That's kids in the background. Wife just got home. Now I'm in trouble because I'm smoking a cigar. That's all right, she's cool. Brew day. Today I'm brewing my man, Craig Newburgers. Revised Kolsch Bia. Bia. This is version two. You can check out some of my versions before. Holy jeez, big old bumblebee. Bumblebee won't hurt you up. Don't mess with the bumblebee. Stings me, dies. He's smart. Nice bumblebee. One with the bumblebee. Last one was good. He revised it. Don't know why. So I figured we'd uh, give her a. Jeez. I just noticed this, Craig. ABV 7.6% in the Kolsch. Holy shit, man. Anyway, that's cool. Um, 10 pounds of German pills, one pound of Vienna malt, uh, eight ounces of Cristal, 80. Um, so it's gonna be darker, I would think. Um, that's only a small percentage of the total grain bill, half a pound. Um, eight ounces of Melodonin malt. There you go, boys. Some of you guys laugh at my pronunciation. It don't matter, man. I just make beer easy. It tastes good. I don't give a shit about how it sounds. Hops, one ounce of Cristal, I couldn't get that. Holer Toll, or whatever the hell. Holer Ta, I'm using that instead. 90 minutes, this 90 minute boy, this is gonna be a long brew day. I got reading this as I was writing it out, and holy son of a bitch, we are in for it. One ounce of Saz, S-A-A-Z, 40 minute. Another ounce of Saz at 15 minute. Wharf Lock at 10, I usually do 15, but we'll do what Craig says. Six gallons going in, already doing that. Heating up to 157, I usually do 162, we're going to 157, following Craig's recipe. Mashing in at 150 for 75 minutes. I usually do a 60 minute mash, 75 minutes, mash out at 164, 15, so we're talking like a two hour mash, so. Hour and a half boil, two hour mash, gonna be a long brew day. Uh, sparge with 164 degrees, bring it up to 6.5. So I'm only going with half a gallon sparge. I usually do about two gallons sparge. So we're gonna do Craig's. Boil for 90 minutes, I already said that, I believe. Yep, I already said that. Wharf lock, 10 minute left in the boil. I'm using K9, um, German yeast, Safel, Safael. Whatever the hell, it don't matter. I'll show you guys when I'm pitching it exactly what it looks like. That's what I got going on. So right now I'm gonna have some beer, smoke my cigar, put on some gangster rap tunes again, and uh, kick back and uh, wait till that gets up to temperature. <laughs> oh yeah, we got some better tunes on the go now. High road, baby. Put the old cigar down. We're at the we're at the dough in stage, guys. So I don't want to get the old cigar dust in here. Straightforward stuff. I got some specialty grains. I'm gonna drop some of them in there. My buddy, one of the brewers at one of the microbreweries I go to, said to mix it up, do some specialty, do some base grains, put her in there, stir it up. I want to stir so we're not getting any uh, dough balls in there, just like usual. I'm not gonna keep this rolling because I'm just gonna get that in there, and then we're gonna let that run for 90 minutes, and then uh, we'll be back for the next stage. We'll be heading into the big old boil ski. Oh yeah. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. Let's put this out of the way. Be you know, honest with you, this is the prop now. I stopped smoking that about 10 minutes ago. So, we are at Mashup. Yo, Brewer's Edge, piece of cake. All I do is I 
crank that son of a bitch up to 168. Let it ride for 15 minutes. We're at 168 now. It's perfect. I'm going to check the time. 7.05. 7.05. So we're going 15 minutes. Somebody do the math. 7.05. 7, 10, 7, 20. So that's cool. 7.20 we're doing. Uh, we're going to let her mash it at 168. 15 minutes. And then uh, we're going to go into the sparge mode. Really get it on real soon with some nice bowling action. Bam! Oh, 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 oh. You old crazy song bitches. We're spurging. We got the spurge is on. So, because of the grain absorption of the water, very technical, the grain sucked a lot of water and ended up with about 5.5, actually, about 5 gallons. So, I've got to get 1.5 gallons from the spirage water, which is 170 degrees Fahrenheit, or it was, I scoop her, I take her, and I just dump her like that. And we're going to uh, hopefully get up to uh, 6.5 gallons. I've already programmed that. Actually, I haven't. i got to get that going, uh, get her up to the boil level. Then we'll be back for the first hop edition. we got a 90-minute feckin', that's F-E-C-K, for all you sensitive some bitches boil ahead of us. Be back soon. Go this Yo! Where are we going? This way. There's Jenny. Everybody loves oh, Jenny. It oh yeah, it's on. Hey, Jenny. She wouldn't do a cleavage shot, I tried, guys. No cleavage shot. <laughs> so, we are at the first hop edition. I just dropped it in there. We're at boil. One ounce of holler taw. In there, it's getting dark. We got a 90 minute boil. Craig, man, this recipe is way too damn long. Anyway, she's gonna make some nice beer. Be back sometime, maybe when it's done. Because hop editions are kind of boring. Hey! The next day brew day went good um hit everything except forgot to take the damn og this morning because i know chill um so i let i let it ride all night long chilling down in the no chill cube that's my vineyard back there pretty sweet ain't eh? got some grapes on that some bitch gonna they're six years old totally off topic six years old now the uh, plants the vines uh, apparently that's supposed to be when they're good I'm trying to make my wife some wine out of those bad boys. I'm gonna give it, give it a go. Anyway, so did Craig's video, Craig Newber. By the way, check him out on YouTube. Um, summertime, I don't get on YouTube much, but now it's you know into fall, so I was back on watching a bunch of his videos today. The dude's got some. He's a hell of a lot of fun. He's got some good shit. Um, lots of good recipes. So that's what I brewed last night was his Kolsch. But the thing is, like, 90 minute boil, 75 minute mash. 15 minute mash out, so it's a long brew day, and I didn't even chill until, you know, I didn't know, so it got dark, and I got a little intoxicated, so I just stopped recording, I said, you can't see me anyways, and that's annoying as hell, so I hit, I hit the uh, three hop editions, hit the wharf lock, um, and then I, uh, then I no chilled it, put it in the cube, let, let it ride all night last night, this morning I uh, pitched it with, uh, what is it, K97, I believe they call it, K97, I think it's one of the newer ones from Cephal or whatever, um, anyway, so that's that's what I used, and uh, yeah, everything went good. So she's down in my basement now, um, fermenting. She's not bubbled on yet, of course, because I just pitched it a couple hours ago. Um, but I'm excited. But I uh, was watching a couple of Craig's videos, and uh, I like the color of it. Uh, I, th I think it's going to be really, uh, it's going to be a darker coals. And holy shit, it was 7.3 percent ABV. I didn't. That's what his note said. I didn't realize that until as I was brewing last night. So that's it. That's a powerful Kolsch, man. That's big Rob style Kolsch. What am I doing out here in my little podunk garden? Well, always a challenge to get rid of the grains. So I got my grains here. I'm gonna compost them. Now I don't know shit about composting, but I hear they're good for the garden. So what I've done is I've dug a little hole in my garden there. I'm gonna dunk the grains there. I'm gonna cover it over and uh, just gonna let it ride. I can tell you one thing: don't just lay it on top. I used to do that, and it stinks and flies, and you gotta dig a hole. You gotta get your lazy ass up and. Dig a hole. I think Big Sugar sings that, don't they? Dig a hole, something like that. Anyway, whatever. Don't matter. That's what I got, guys. She was a fun brew day. Um, I'm doing. Uh, I'm actually doing another one of Craig's next week, man. He's got an Oktoberfest, so that's a coming. Looking forward to that one too. Um, 
My other one, what do I got? I think it's my blonde. She's all done just about, so I'm going to, that's my dirty old blonde. So we're going to, uh, we're going to, uh, we're going to cold crash that for two days and then get her into the keg. So maybe a taste test of that coming this coming week. Oh yeah. MakeBeerEasy.com. Got some technical difficulties with the site right now. If you've been over there, it's been down, but I'm working with HostGator to get them to figure it out. Even they can't figure the damn thing out. But she'll be back up and running soon, so it'll always be MakeBeerEasy.com, baby. Check me out there. Check me out on my Facebook. Check me out on YouTube. MakeBeerEasy.com. You'll find me. Big Rob is out.